Using ChatGPT, you can create loading animations very easily in SwiftUI, like the typing indicators you see in this video. In this example, I asked ChatGPT to write a SwiftUI loading animation with three hearts. So let's look at what it did. It approached the animation by trying to draw a heart icon using the path tool in SwiftUI. But this code doesn't draw the heart icon. So let's copy only the part needed for the animation. It uses for each to draw three hearts and then creates the animation using scale effect. So this is the only part we need for the animation. Let's copy the struct loading animation. And then when we bring it to Xcode, we will remove the heart and use a circle. I will select from here until here and press command and C to copy. In the Xcode project, we are going to remove the text over here and paste the code. So let's remove the whole struct and paste the code I have in the clipboard. As I said in the beginning, we are going to replace the heart with a circle. Let's also change the size of the circle by changing the width and height to 25 each. It uses VStack as the parent container. So let's change that to use an H stack. Then we get this warning. By clicking on the warning, you can see animation was duplicated in iOS 15. To fix that, we can remove the animation here. The animation modifier takes another parameter called value. So let's add it here. The value should be the same as the state variable. So in this example, we have the state variable as animation amount. I will copy that and paste it here. Next, we don't need a self. So anywhere we see self, we can remove it. So to recap, ChatGPT uses the state variable animation amount to set the initial state of the animation. Then when the views appear, that is the circles, it sets the animation amount to one. And with the scale effect modifier, it animates the changes between the initial animation state and the final animation state using the easing function is in out. So this is how you can use ChatGPT to help you build animations faster here inside SwiftUI. Thanks for watching.